Hi, today we're going to make a recycled box robot. To do this, you'll need two small cardboard boxes, some reclaimed card, metallic pipe cleaners, foam shapes, paint, googly eyes, and some glue. To start, take your cardboard boxes and remove any unwanted bits of sellotape or glue. If you want to paint your robot a bright colour, do this first and set your cardboard and cardboard boxes to one side to dry. Once your reclaimed cardboard is dry, you can cut four squares or rectangles of around five centimetres wide to help create the feet and also four smaller rectangles or squares and these are around three centimetres wide to use for the hands. With those to one side, we're just going to take two metallic pipe cleaners and we're going to twist those together to make the pipe cleaner a little bit thicker and have some fun with mixing up the metallic colours. And once you have that, fold it in half and cut it in half. And then repeat that step so that in total you have four lengths of sparkly wire. Taking one piece at a time, take two matching squares, turn them over and add glue dots to one side can use PVA or glue stick if you prefer. And just add your glue there. Lay your pipe cleaner in place and then cover the other side with a matching piece of card. And repeat that on all four to create hands and feet. And by doing this, you'll be trapping a rough end inside the cardboard. Put that there. And once you have hands and feet are ready, you're now ready to attach those to the body of your robot. You can attach these using glue dots, washi tape, masking tape, whatever you feel is appropriate, or you can feed them through the sides of your box. To do this, ask a grown-up to help, and a good way to do this is by using a large safety pin and carefully piercing a hole in the side of the box. Then to make the box slightly have a slightly larger hole, very carefully use a pencil and just poke that through. Be careful not to go too hard and make it too large or your pipe cleaners will fall out. We're then going to take the pipe cleaner arms and legs and just feed those into the holes you've just made. And now it's time to give your robot a head. So taking your slightly smaller box 
And if you don't have a smaller box, an inner from a toilet roll or a kitchen roll inner will work just as well, but just cut it down to height. We're just going to pop a few glue dots onto the bottom of there. And glue that in place at the top of our box. Your robot is then ready to decorate. And to do that, I'm going to use some foam shapes to give him some nice, big, shiny buttons. And we're also going to give our robot a face. So of course, using some googly eyes. And a foam shape for a nose. And then I've trimmed down a square foam shape and cut that in half to create a robot mouth. And no robot is complete without an antenna. So using pipe cleaners that we've twisted together and cut down and shaped. I'm just going to attach this to the side of the head. And there you have a recycled cardboard box robot. Happy crafting. <laughs>